Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Raven Pack Chat with the Expert series. My name is Ashish Sharma. I'm the head of business development here at Raven Pack, and I will be moderating the session today. For those of you who might not know Raven Pack, we are a pioneer and leader in the alternative data and big data analytics space with over a decade of experience in helping investment management firms deriving value from unstructured data sources. The objective of the chat with the expert series is to provide a forum for the audience to hear from and interact with industry experts on alternative data and big data analytics. The topic we will be discussing today is the interaction of news, social media, corporate events, and global macro. The session is co-hosted with our partner, Wolf Research. Our presenters today and experts are Jin Luo, U.S. Quantitative Research, Economics, and Portfolio Strategist at Wolf Research, as well as Peter Hafez, Chief Data Scientist here at Raven Pack. Hello, Yen. Uh, thank you very much for uh, doing this webinar with us. Uh, we are very happy to, to have you here, and I'm sure that the audience is, is looking very much forward to hearing what you have to say uh, about the alternative data the landscape and about uh, NLP. Um, we have known each other for, for quite some years, uh, I guess almost 10 years by now. Uh, you were one of the early pioneers in the alternative data space. Uh, back then, I guess alternative data wasn't really coined as a term when you got started, um, but uh, you were very early looking at news analytics and sentiment data uh, for the financial industry. And, and over the years, of course, you have had a lot of experience uh, con with continuous uh, work in, in this area. Um, and I think that that kind of opens up for some very interesting uh, conversations uh, that we can have around this topic that hopefully can inspire our audience uh, to see how they can take advantage of alternative data in their investment process. So with your, all these years behind you, what's your, what's your experience with alternative data? Where is the value? Uh, and and also, do you see this mostly being for quants, or is it also something that could be, be interesting for uh, more fundamental investors? Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Peter. First of all, thank you for having me today. Uh, I think, as you mentioned, is, is yes, we've been working with uh, all kind of data for a long time. Uh, our views, I think, on alternative data is, is one. Uh, first of all, of course, you have to define it. So what is really alternative? Uh, the words itself also evolve over time. Right, so maybe 20 years ago, even analysts estimate data was, was somewhat of alternative. Uh, maybe 10 years ago, new sentiment was something very uh, new and innovative. But I think, of course, as you mentioned, embracing uh, different kinds of data, I think the world itself also evolves. Uh, number two is, is we always been very bullish on alternative data. Uh, as you mentioned, this is the first time we started to work with Riven Pack with you was more than 10 years ago. Uh, I think our view is, is with our data is, is number one, uh, they may not necessarily have a better performance than our traditional, let's say, when, when I say traditional here, I basically refers to company fundamental data or broader economic data. I think it's just performance may not necessarily be better, uh, but at the very minimum, they should provide a great diversification benefit. Uh, as more and more investors starting to embrace the data, obviously, uh, they may eventually get getting arbitraged away. But in our experiences, uh, from the day that we investors realize uh, this data may be interesting uh, to the time until they test it, committing the time to test it, committing the time to invest in it, uh, and all, all the way until the data or the value getting arbitraged away may still take a long time. Uh, number two, I think is uh, we do believe Alternative data providing not only just the risk-cation benefit, uh, in many occasions, they're also adding uh, some very interesting angles, not only useful for quants, but I think it's more importantly, uh, from what we see, uh, the biggest uh, investors actually starting to embrace alternative data in recent years is more from uh, the fundamental community, which is actually quite interesting. Uh, I think part of the reason is, is many kinds of alternative, alternative data are really kind of industry specific, country specific. They may not necessarily covering large number of companies. But so quants traditionally think about the breadth. They want a data source to cover as many companies as possible. Number two, they also want a history. So if you say I have a really interesting data, but I really have about two or three years of history, I think most quants will probably turn away. 
so this is kind of a part of reason we're seeing some of the uh, the early adopters obviously was in the quant community, but in recent years uh, we're starting to see more and more non-quants that we call fundamental discretionary measures. This is Raven Pack. 